Hi everyone, I'm Steven, and today I'm making one of the Spider-Man No Way Home web shooters out of cardboard. Let's jump right into it. So I started off by drawing out the design for the web shooter off camera. Since the movie isn't out yet, I basically just looked at pictures of the latest Spider-Man toys and tried to make my drawing look as similar as possible to the toy. And since it has a Doctor Strange inspired look to it, I really relied on my knowledge of the iBagamoto, which was actually my first video that I ever posted on YouTube. Anyway, I only drew out half the design because I was able to fold that design in half, cut it out, unfold it, and then it turned into a full web shooter template. It's super simple. I also added some tape to make the straps a little bit longer, and this extra length is just going to help me secure it around my forearm later on in the build. I also took out a utility blade and carefully sliced out all the openings on the web shooter, and hopefully seeing it cut out like this will help you visualize what the web shooter is going to look like once it's finished. Anyway, I traced this template onto a piece of cereal box cardboard. This is the base layer, so I wasn't too worried about the crease in the cardboard since it's going to get covered up um, at a later step. And as you can see, I cut out the center where all the straps are going to be. Uh, so right now it's just a big hole in the center and the straps are going to get glued on in a later step. But okay, on to the decorations, starting with the bands that go around the wrist. I just cut them out one by one and traced them onto cereal box cardboard. I took my time and worked slowly for cutting out all of these pieces. Once they were cut out, I decided to tape together the straps of the web shooter so it would be curved and I'm going to glue everything onto it when it's curved so the curve will hold its shape. But yeah, I used super glue to glue on all these pieces, then kept lining up the template to cut out the next piece, and then the next one, and then the next one after that. I cut a piece out, super glued it on, and then cut out the next one. It was easiest for me to use scissors to make any of the big cuts, but I used a utility knife for anything that might have been too tricky for big scissors. Since these pieces are tiny and curved, and my cheap dollar store super glue takes a second to stick, I often use um, chip bag clips or binder clips to help me out. Um, and I would just glue a piece on and then clip it with a binder clip to hold it in place while the glue dried, and this helped a lot. Um, but However, sometimes super glue does stick really quickly, so occasionally pieces got glued down incorrectly, and that's totally okay. Yeah, there's gonna be some imperfections, but I prefer to just go with it instead of scrapping the project and starting over. I trimmed what I could, and I moved on. But yeah, I'm gonna shut up for a moment so you can watch this montage in peace.
Okay, so on to the straps in the center. I did these the same way as everything else, but kept them a little bit longer than the cutouts from the template. And I kept them longer so I wouldn't have to worry about the curve making them too short. And that worked, but honestly I wish I had glued them together in an X shape before putting them into the center of the web shooter. I really think that would have helped make it a lot easier. Um, because gluing it on strap by strap by strap was a little tricky. And since I used super glue, um, the super glue got all over my fingers, so I probably should have used hot glue to glue in the straps. But once it was all glued in, it looked like this, and it's looking kind of cool, right? I, I think so. I then finished up with the lines on the dial before painting the entire web shooter in black craft paint. And if you decide to make this for yourself, you don't really have to paint the back of it black. I just did it so the cereal box graphics wouldn't show up for the pictures when I'm doing the reveal later on. But anyway, once the black craft paint dried, I painted it very lightly in an antique gold craft paint. I let that dry, and then I painted it lightly in light gold craft paint. I just painted it lightly so some of the black would still show through. After that, I drew on some weathering with a black pen and glued in the hook and loop, but you'll see all that in a second with the finished product. So there you have it, the Doctor Strange inspired web shooter from Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm pretty excited for the movie to come out in a few weeks and hopefully I did it justice. It's not as bulky as the pictures of the web shooter toys, but the cereal box cardboard helps make them look really sleek and streamlined and I kinda like it. Um, yeah, I think it looks decently cool and if you're interested in making one yourself, I posted the template that I made on my website, so feel free to check that out. But yeah, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye